Hey guys, it's me. Tonight we're going to prove a fact about the Riemann zeta function. So this is the Riemann zeta function, and we're going to prove that it's actually equivalent to this other way of writing it. This is a really neat result because this Riemann zeta function is the same function that is in the Riemann hypothesis, which is known to be linked with the distribution of primes. So here we can see that, indeed, there is a link between the zeta function and prime numbers. So now let's prove it. I'm going to start by writing the zeta function that we know and love. Now we're going to divide both sides by 2 to the s. So here I've just divided this by 2 to the s, and we see that if we divide each of these terms by 2 to the s, we get all these denominators of, of even integers. Now I'm going to take this top expression and subtract this bottom expression. So you can see on the right side, we're left with these denominators that don't have a factor of 2. Next, I'm going to factor out a zeta function out of this expression here. And you can see that in a way, we've sort of extracted the prime number of 2 off of the right side of this expression and onto the left side as a product. So let's move on to the next prime number, 3. Much better. Just like we did last time with 2, we're going to divide both sides by 3 to the s. You'll notice what we're left with on the right side are all those numbers that are multiples of 3 but aren't multiples of 2. And now just like last time, we're going to take this and subtract this. Now I've subtracted and factored in the same step. But you can see that it does just what it did last time, where we can factor out this term into a product. Furthermore, and unsurprisingly, you'll notice that on the right side here, all the denominators are those numbers that are not divisible by 2 or 3. So these first three are prime, but uh, not all of them will be. Let me put back up there what we were left with. You've probably observed the pattern by now, and that if we keep doing this for every single prime number on the right-hand side, we're going to be left with nothing except 1. Let's write that mathematically. We want to isolate the zeta function, so we're going to divide both sides by this product. Which is, of course, equivalent to the expression we were looking for in the beginning. As a closing note, I'm very well aware that this wasn't a rigorous proof, but the point was to show you guys exactly how these are equivalent, and hopefully I've convinced you that they are. Thanks, see you next time.